There we go. Does it work now? There we go. Heck yeah. Ugh, can you tell I haven't done this for a while? Ah. <laughs> Why is that not like scented? Like, what the heck, bro? Eh, close enough. Here we go. Eh, it sort of works now. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. I'll just drag that over to there. So then I have chat on two monitors. Ooh, I reckon monitors analytics. Analytics. I, 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 can you tell I haven't done this for a while? <laughs> Phew, made it, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Ew, ew. no. Mm. Ah, what's wrong with me? So far, so good for my first day on the job. For a fucking CC turned on. All it was flashing up was, yeah, good enough over and over again. Huh? What? You mean closed captions? Why? I'm confused. What? Yeah, send me a screenshot, because what? But you've just confused me. <laughs> I don't know how, but you've just confused me. Like that's hard to do. It's actually very easy to confuse me. Alright, why is the stream not popping up in Zingo? Bloody Discord. Sonic is fucking dead. Sonic is fucking dead. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Can you, like, actually, can you hear me alright? Oh, I just realised. Game audio and desktop audio were on, so it was, like, slightly doubled. <laughs> it's probably not good. <laughs> it's probably a bit shit. Hope I fixed it, though. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot. My name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Um, what's a good name? Oops. <laughs> there we go. Like, the Sonic? Haha, <laughs> wouldn't that be cool? But no. I've just signed my name here. You, but, but I am Sonic. How do you, how do you, prove that I'm not Sonic. YouTube has live transcribing now and so closed captions turned on by accident when I was moving the window to my other monitor and when you were adjusting the game into the frame. Fair enough. Oh, and saying, yeah, good enough. This live captions were just bugging out and saying, yeah, good enough over and over it again. <coughs> That's so funny. Um, there we go. I don't think I could show my face around here again if I wrote that. The mm. I can. I can actually. I can actually pick that. Wait, I can actually pick that? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> when when was this game made? When did this game release? 2023. So... 
So they definitely knew that Among Us. <laughs> I wanna, I'm gonna do it. I, I wanna, I wanna fucking do it. <laughs> you have Among Us red sussy black hat. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> you know, no. I don't I don't trust you. <laughs> um Scooby Scooby Door. Wait, what? Scooby uh, Scooby Doo, there we go. I think my cat will see. <sighs> the main character. <laughs> I will mean the shit out of this stream if you do Among Us. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be Scooby-Doo. What? What's wrong with Scooby-Doo? I don't think I should could show my face around here again if I wrote that. Wait, what's wrong with Scooby-Doo? What? Um, okay. Well, fine. I will just do Among Us because I, I'm not creative. Yes. Hope passengers can read my scribble. What are you doing, Mins? What do you see? Do you want to go in the closet? <sighs> Trisanic. Oh, that's not supposed to show up. Mittens, are you gay? going in the closet. You doing it? Yeah, he's 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 definitely gay, okay. he's closeted. <clears throat> I should not be advertising that website. That's not my merch website. I don't even have a merch website at the moment. Stream elements. Um, where's the bot? Chat bot. Ew. Turn that off. There we go. Fixed. I hope passengers can read my scribble. Hey, he's just all, all in there. <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh. Am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Like. Proper jitters. Working on working the trains dining car can't be so bad. Come on, and luck is shake it off. <laughs> be like Taylor Swift and shake it off. Amogus, did I uh? Just see you hitting yourself? <laughs> Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, ho, ho, quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Um, is that because you're a sweetie? Trying to be, trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. It's a long time. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to see the hotels. I can see why his wife's excited. 
Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Oh, I should have a notebook, shouldn't I? I'll be right back. <laughs> Got a notebook and the cat came out of the closet. <laughs> this is not the pen I wanted to grab, but oh well. Let's just quickly fix my overlay to remove that merch thing. Because that's not supposed to be there. Can you tell I haven't streamed for a while? Oh, it's got teams now. How do I turn it off? I just want to disable it. There we go, how's that? There we go. Then you added to your inventory. Oh, that just resets the chat on screen. Um, I can open the inventory at any time to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. Okay, so it's on the menu. Okay, let's do this. Ow. Menu. Hate pens. Chili. Bug. You never know what you're going to be required to remember. Chicken cordon bleu? I, I don't know French. Marge Express dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Uh, I'm, I think I'm butchering that. Chicken cordon bleu. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do that. I don't think I'll be able to pronounce that without messing it up. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. That's bad. It's not great. <laughs> Though I'm sure a lot of quizzes in order. Which of these do we serve in the, in the dining car? Crab, Rangoon, Spicy Grilled Picky, Chicken Cordon, that thing. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you read the menu okay. Glad you can read the menu okay. A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guess we'll be fun. Oh. Can I, can I go? Can I, no. I'll be with you to gather, to gather tickets. But after that, you'll be on your own. So I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? I'll make you proud, sir. Glad this old man can rest easy. 
Doors of the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. Yay! Yo! Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech! You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying at a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rogue. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, Knucklehead. He's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen. What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Amogus. <laughs> You're sweating through your uniform. I forgot what for a second we named him that. <laughs> hey pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Radio friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. Haha, <laughs> sorry about the happy birthday, girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Amogus, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Alright, let's do... You. <laughs> Yummy, don't mind if I do. Amogus, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Amogus only gets one of those if they ask. Do the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh... Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Good try, young bug. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look really tasty too. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Let's go happy birthday, Amy. That seems nice. Oh, we can just, you more, why is there a picture of Amy on the thing? Is that Amy? I can't, it looks like Amy. Anything else I can click on that's just not, oh. It's looking at the napkin holder. I hate the idea of a ticket lost and alone like this. Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. Let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. This ticket is added to your inventory. Okay. Let's do... Uganda Knuckles. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Can I get your ticket, Yeoman? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. My first day now, I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're star sparkle gelatin buddies. Absolutely, if you need anything, just let me know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. <laughs> what do you mean normal? <laughs> uh, let's do Sonic. Ticket please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Don't worry about it, I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes, have f f f fun now. Will do, thank. Oh. Can I take your order? Not interested. Does sound good though. Ah, the cat wants back in. Come on. Ooh, ow! Oh, that hurt. 
Okay. So I guess we're doing food orders at the same time then. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, how are you? I want to... I, I don't want to accidentally butcher your name. <laughs> um, you sound good though. Well, that answers that. Okay. Please use a keyframe frequency of four seconds or less. Currently, what? What are you on about? YouTube? Oh, what do I have Twitter in there? And my old website. Oh, hi, Mins. Okay, fix that. Now, what's happening here? So because I have no delay, automatic captions are enabled for English. Other languages will not be correctly translated to your view, transcribed to your viewers. Okay. This live replay once stream ends. Okay then. All right. Shoot, I was supposed to get Amy a cake. What am I going to do? Can I get your order? I'll be back for that chili dog. Sonic wants a chili dog. Okay. For a hero such as, you, such as yourself, it'll be on the house. I appreciate that. I kind of forgot my wallet at home. Then how was he going to buy the chili dog earlier? Can I say anything else to Knuckles? What a beautiful tra uh, tales train. I feel completely at ease. Oh. Okay, goodbye then. Uh, the menu, sir? I don't like reading things from strangers. Fair enough. Could I, we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu, that sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on to walls? Cling on to walls, what kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug with that, that answer. All right, this train is exquisite. I've been doing my time already. I'll order one of age when I'm here for the party. I'll eat when everyone else does. Excellent principles. Plus, I had a snack right before this. Oh. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. It's a gentleman of upstanding morals. I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have um misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not holding his embarrassment very well. Ho ho, actually we might be able to help you. Amogus, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Probably not the menu. So sad to see a ticket alone and confused like this. We'll return it. I have faith. 
Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and miss the murder mystery. Ho ho, all among us here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't have left I wouldn't leave without a fight. Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let me know if you need anything else. Uh, thanks again for finding my ticket. You're a real lifesaver. Um, am I not going to get his order? Okay. Let's do Amy. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train. Oh. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who d loves a true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, that unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. Birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically a tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. I wonder what cake topper Sonic picked picked out for me. Can I take your order? No thanks. I'm saving room for my birthday cake. Oh, did someone bring a cake for you? Yes, that was Sonic's job. Funny, Son Sonic looks awfully nervous all of a sudden. Ah, <laughs> Sonic, why did you turn to look at the wall? Sonic. Shoot, I was supposed to get Amy a cake. What am I going to do? Uh, good luck with that. I'll figure something out. Uh, show. Sure. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, oh, uh, I think we should throw Amy off the back of the train. <laughs> I, I don't think we can. Fortunately, I, I, I somehow don't think they're going to give us that option. Um, but I can surely try. <laughs> uh, I, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I can get for you. That stare, so cold. Among us, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? Haha, no, I'm good. Um, what else do you need? Can I take your order? Only three items on the menu. Sorry, sir, is everything not to your liking? I just expected a bit more from a train, so he's state of the art. You know what? That's fair. You don't even have drinks listed. He's not wrong, but I'm still offended somehow. We offer water, coffee, and chaos cola as well, sir. I'll have to take you up on the coffee soon. Just the beans in a spoon, though. What? I can't get a read on this guy. Beans and a spoon. Change it to the weather. There we go. May I have your ticket plate? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. But princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should, should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win, this, win with this group? Don't you need to bow every time you see me? Uh, oh, sorry. Can I take your order? I'm saving myself for cake, thank you though. Are you sure? Our instant ramen doesn't disappoint. I'm quite sure. Well, hello you two, what can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am, can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward, let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else you hear. Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. 
Man, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. <laughs> Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. <laughs> no shit. Okay, so now we need to throw Blaze off the back too. Um, I mean, we can, uh, we can try. We can surely try. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. And, ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train, assist among us if they need any help, won't you? That's all I need to hear, you have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about making up the, mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please speak to Amogus here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Uh, goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your law cards as well. Law cards? That must be getting... That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Law cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise people will, would know the murderer's intentions. Now, onto the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Uh, participation is required for it is my birthday. Oh, of course, but the girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective, you'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. In, 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 in I'm not even going to attempt. <laughs> Knuckles, you're the sh sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rogue, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of the industry. A titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is a locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? No. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. A map added to your inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant, however they choose. But you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. Do you want to go back out, cat? I'll let you out, mittens. Go on. Ow. Jammed my bloody finger in the door. Ugh. Figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused. So inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. I guess I can close this now that Mittens was going to hang out in there. Ah, uh, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. 
I know, it's kind of so scary. How thrilling. I have goosebumps. Same. Isn't it awesome? Like, oh my god. It's so awesome. Oh my god. Ugh, I'm weird. <laughs> Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the law clouds are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with the Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. What's a Flicky? My lawyer said I'm a nosy person turned journalist. <laughs> Just sounds like a journalist. Not gonna lie. And uh, not gonna lie, that sounds like this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck in microwave duty. duty. The train started moving. It's so fast. Grab on to something. What's going on? I can't. No! What happened? I mean, it's stuck. I sus, sus, not stuck. My goodness. I stick by my original statement. Fair enough. One that sticks to their morals. I, you have my respect. <laughs> You're both awake. Y yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone all right? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this. With, uh, blah, 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 blah. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. This is actually intended. It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Um, oh, great, the train stopped. Now we can't throw them off. Among us, could you get to your door? Well, I mean, the train's still going. It's just a lot slower than it was. So we could still throw them off if you really wish. Of course. Hmm, it seems the door is blocked and I can't, don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy, she's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detective have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. Okay. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. Ah, oh, my nose is itchy. Why is my nose so itchy? You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Okay. What's this? A rod? The tip is broken. It looks too originally to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure it's related to our mystery, but I keep like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. The stick is added to your inventory. Uh, once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery sh grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slipped into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. 
Satellite's ending. Use the rod to quell Amy. I don't know what quell means. Uh, so... Put an end to a rebellion or other disorder, typically by the use of force. Subdue or silence someone. Suppress a feeling. We could quell Amy. That seems like an option. <laughs> Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? That's not empty. That's 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 really not empty. That's 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 a full trash can. What do you mean empty? Like what? Why is she holding a spoon? Uh, the shelf blocking our exit is it's currently not budging. Hey, among us, look closely at this. Um, there's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. How? How? You're just gonna like cut the shelf? Uh, I think that we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. Uh, what's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we could dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. Oh, she seems very sus. We're definitely gonna have to quell her. <laughs> I'll keep looking. Um, talk. Oh. Uh, start interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here, just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Emmy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Attempted to escape. I don't think you were sitting idly while Amogus and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Oh my guess, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must inform our argument to form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do this. What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Well this, of course. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have no argument here, you're grasping. Oof, okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. What does the crack on the shelf, how does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, I, uh, well, hmm. When I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad necks. He never loses. Okay, good for him. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Okay. Uh, sure. Whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do and find your argument? Alright, let's prove that. Oh. Oh. Wow, I love it. <coughs> sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing on, around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? Well, well I, I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? Uh, I hate the Amogus Dream Gear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It's it. Oh. Uh, what is that? A stick? I truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage. If you look at it um, closely, you'll see that you've been twirling around that stick a bit too much. Marcus, let's try to follow that train of thought again, shall we? Kind of damage to the shelf on its own but if it's attached to something it could like let's say a hammer this isn't a stick at all is it this is actually the handle of your pico pico hammer you attempted to hit the shelf out of the way but you failed the handle to your hammer snapped right off oh it says you both said i tried to get us all out with my hammer but i failed I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my ba- I wish whenever we need to think really hard we have to do a little mini game. Honestly, like, that'd be great to be able to do a mini game just so I don't have to think. Wait, hang on. To be able to do a mini game to allow myself to think better would be absolutely amazing. Uh, it's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things and that is all we need to do. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The, the shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it, we're free. Great job, Amy, let's get out of here. I think the cat's trying to come back to help me let himself in. Hi, Megan. Uh. <sighs> I really wish you'd decide whether you want to be in here or out, but okay. Wait, is that? Oh, Sonic is fucking dead. It can't be. Sonic? Someone murdered my darling Sonic. You seem a bit too happy about that there, Amy. That's a bit sus. Ew, you two bugged out. But, uh, blah, 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 blah. Ew, you two bugged out and just had my alt reply. Ugh. I hate it when that happens. Just YouTube being... To be fair, YouTube is just buggy in general. I don't think we could ever have a YouTube that works. What? Uh, someone murdered my darling Sonic. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait. I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't. Move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to re rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery or is this serious? 
Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, I guess, what do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. What? So I leave that care to you, Muggers, my favourite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Why do I feel like this is just mem like the human memory being like weird? And it's like, oh, I'm not remembering this entirely correctly because humans are strange and everything. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor, you'll see. Can we click on the body? No, apparently not. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. Saloon car. Whoa, look at this place. Uh, hey Tails, where are you? A mugger's over here. I think Amy's already gone up on her head. It seems she's really excited. Uh, did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? He, he's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about, I promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. It's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ah, uh, fair. As I said, well, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lol card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched out practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. You varmints. What are you, uh, what are you all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <coughs> Enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. Oh, he's so grumpy. He's obviously agitated about something. Why take it out on us? I know better. I know better than to argue with Knuckles. So it seems we're on our own. Muggers, and you need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate the clues. And why is Knuckles wearing a cowboy hat? He's in charge of the saloon, so he's Texan. <laughs> ah, stereotypes. Uh, let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. But do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damage looks more to be caused from... punches. Who could have done that? What are you two looking at me for? Smashed arcade is added to your inventory. How? How? How do you add an entire arcade to what appears to be a satchel bag? Like how? That what? Decent crash cash reward finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Armo Chow 
hate to seem like this. Okay, first of all, that's offensive. Not really. And second of all, you know I'm Texan and haven't touched alcohol in all Mr. Year, so fuck you. <laughs> it's in the Wild West, baby. Of course it's like Texan. I don't know why I said baby. That was weird. That, that was really weird. I'm going to, like, not focus on that because that was... Ugh, that was weird. What did they do? Medical malpractice. Interesting. <laughs> the robotic arms here are really helpful. I don't think they like me. What's... Yeah, please don't do that again. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> What's the arm doing to my hair? Fix it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? <laughs> Um. Huh, that's funny. The door is locked tight. We can't go any farther. I wonder how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. When were these doors locked? And how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. Um. Howdy, partners. C come on, you can, you can, it's, it literally is just trying to be a Texan stereotype. Spittoon Free Establishment. Visit Coliseum Highway Zone. I'm gonna keep that there because I think it's funny that it's trying to be a stereotype. Ah, the ball of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kinda bland. Hmm. Ha, huh. seems like someone licked all the salt off them. <laughs> what? Well, maybe they're just insulted. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Something's always hidden in, the, in, hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. It's not though. It's like obviously full. I'm starting to think your theory on everything always being hidden in the trash is flawed. So what? All so what? All characters are in here. Um. I think a lot of the characters are here. I don't think all of them would be. That'd be a bit weird. It's only a matter of time. Tales have faith. It's as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Haha. -ha. I think Tales is ignoring me. Bro, who is licking nuts clean? <laughs> I want to make a joke, but I can't. <laughs> According to YouTube, I have to be PG-13. Ugh. Among us, this is interesting. What is? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. Among us, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' colour at all. Someone else must have been here. Okay, we should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. I want to look at the window first. Breathtaking views. The train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. That's, that's how you die. Like, that's literally how you get murdered. Or, would it be murder then? I don't know. I'll never understand this friend group. Well, to be fair, that joke would be PG-13, considering PG-13 allows a maximum of three fucks per 50 minute segment. Fair. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Like your hat. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Oh god, don't tell me this is turning into a Knuckles dating sim. <laughs> it doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we see it, could see it better? I said leave. Can I take your order? Sure, like a... Butler of sorts, right? 
Come on, Amogus, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. Bro, are you flirting with the knuckles? Are you telling me you wouldn't? <laughs> are you telling me you wouldn't flirt with knuckles? I mean, look at him. He is a man. Yuck. I disgust myself. Knuckles, Amuckus and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you. Buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Knuckles is such a cinder, right? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Yeah, Knuckles is the perfect cinder, eh? If thankfully we won't need you to say much, what happened here is pretty obvious. Now I'm flirting with Rogue 100% she your fatty. <laughs> we have evidence too. We do? I might guess just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? The arcade. What makes you think I touched it? Oh shit. Uh, you're weak. Ouch. I'm gonna guess let's follow that train of thought again, shall we? Can you not lose? Shit, I missed it again. Advertising my Discord. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because. Ah, the arcade cabinet is covered in punches. What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Well, you're all staring at my hands full. Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? Bro, they added the Game Gear? Fuck yeah, buying this game on Thursday when it gets paid. This game is free. This game costs a to good total of zero dollars. Why did I do? This game is f completely free. Entirely free. Zero dollar dues. There we go. You can see it for yourself. It's completely free. I'm fairly certain it was made as an April Fool's Day joke. I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How are you? I'm on it. Amogus, distract kn Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Oh, goodness. Shit, shit. Mm. Not enough rings. Not gonna lie, I can see why it's free. Ha, now Tails, get away from that arcade cabinet. I'm gonna just try again, I have to get Super Monkey Ball fixed. Hang on, Tails, I just have to have to play my my dream gear.
Who knew a visual novel would require skill? There we go. I actually did it this time. <laughs> Arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Vector, knuckles, or toast, apple, bread, ultim, bagel, candy? What's with the food items? Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name at the top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. That <laughs> loser. <laughs> and in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Did it just do that twice? Okay. Prove to me he was here now. Oh no. Ah. You have nothing, Silch. No, no, no. Leave you two. Quick, Marcus. Let's try again. There we go. <coughs> oh, fucking allergies. No, I guess what proves Vector was here with- Ah! Knuckles. Used cups. No. I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks, playing arcade. It's, I'm, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, ah, uh, don't, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I didn't want to be caught. And that's my story and alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what about the cup with the lipstick mark? Rogue was in here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, but I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. 
Victor visited to play games. Rogue couldn't find something and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our questions. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high school list doesn't make sense. Amogus, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high school list was Tails talking about. That one? All the other names have a food theme, but this one? Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know Among Us, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The Ultimate Life Form. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone. But then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, so no one else after locking the door. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the doctor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened to the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rogue searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me, even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're going to have to find them and ask them yourselves. If Espio is in here, it's deaf Espio. Espio will be etch. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library is the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give her a KO'd Sonic and e earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. We'll do, Sheriff. Come in, among us. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. And not Shadow. Shadow just a softy and a protosonic. He wouldn't murder him. Keep coming. Ready to mosey down to the next door. A car? You got it, partner. Onwards. library car and that is where we end it for today um, I, I think I want to play the rest more of this next week maybe about the same time but that's it hope any anyone I, I hope it was enjoyed I mean like I'm not I, I know I'm not the best at streaming, but hopefully it's enjoyed, and I want to. I do. I do want to do this much more often. So again, I hope everyone enjoyed. Bye. <laughs>